Hi, I'm Brenton. This is another video update on our range of force induction upgrades on the Toyota 86, Subaru BRZ, Scion FRS, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure this will help you. And today we've got one of our project cars with the Sprintex supercharger removed. Now, remember in the US, this is the Innovate kit. In Japan, it's the Cusco kit, but it's actually manufactured by Sprintex, whose head office is in Perth in Australia. And as you can see here, this is the inlet manifold. Now, this is the kit that is only sold in Australia with the lemon overcharge cooler. You can see this is the header water tank, which runs a uh, water pump, which you can see quite easily here at the moment down the front of the engine, which pumps the water through this cooling system through the front radiator down in front here. But the part that I really want to show you while we've got apart is these parts right here. Now, it's a bit hard to tell in the video, but I'll put some stand, some still photos on our Facebook page and the website. These are actually um, like little tiny intercoolers with water running through it. So the forced induction goes through the supercharger, through that heat exchanger, which then transfers the um, heat out of the charge inlet temperature through the heat exchanger radiator at the front and then reduces the inlet temperature to the engine which allows you to run more ignition timing on the performance upgrade of the engine. And the other advantage is this assembly distributes the charge air evenly amongst all four runners. On some of the kits available around the world without this fitted, you'll find number one, two, three and four cylinder actually has different uh, airflow and fuel mixtures running through them because of the orientation of the supercharger and I can show you why here. This is the supercharger removed and this is what it looks like underneath. So there's the there's the actual veins of the um, supercharger that you can see inside there and I'll get my cameraman to just you can see there that's that's the way the supercharger works well, actually goes that way forcing air out through and into the inlet manifold which is obviously connected to this plate and this plate's the custom bespoke part that is maintained for the engine um, configuration. This is a generic supercharger, one of the many superchargers that Sprintex make. Little small thing I'll show you here. The front of the gear drive has got a little tiny dipstick. If you've got one of these supercharger kits in the world it's important that every 2,000 to 5,000 kilometres you check the oil level because inside here is oil which does get consumed through the actions of the supercharger because inside there is the gear drive for the supercharger which the nose connects to on the front here which is obviously connected to the belt. Now you might be asking what this part is. Well, on the back of the supercharger where the air goes in on the vacuum side, this part bolts onto that that's where the throttle body connects and I'll just get my cameraman this is the throttle body here so the air goes in through the throttle body through the back of the supercharger and down into the engine um, and this is effectively on the vacuum side now the really cool part is that all bolts on there and this part here is the bypass valve and you can see if I do that you can see the valve opening and closing that part there matches up with this part here which goes directly on the other side of the charge cooler uh, heat exchanger into the inlet manifold and that's what allows the the engine to breathe properly when it's not pulling air through the supercharger and this part here operates um, dynamically as a mechanical part based on vacuum and pressure through here. So there you have it. Some of the things that are often hidden on these different force induction kits we're now getting very, very close to um, local engineering and ADR compliance for these kits in Australia, which is pretty exciting. Of course, you can have a forced induction kit with a turbo as well. I encourage you to have a look at our project car, which is twin charge, supercharged and turbocharged, also on, our, um, on this video channel here. But for today, when we're working on this particular kit, I really hope this has helped you. Um, find us where you can on the internet by searching MRT Performance. I encourage you to have a look at our other project cars, but for day, today, I'm Brett Middleton, thanks for watching.